power lines and plummeted into a vineyard. Tonight he's fighting for life and has been placed in an induced coma. Two Liberal politicians have hit back at China's suggestion that they repent for criticising the regime. Both had their visas for an upcoming trip denied. It comes as an explosive leak details the treatment of ethnic minorities in China. They set out to visit Beijing. They finished up taking the temperature of Australia's China relationship. And it's cold. I cracked a smile, to be honest. First, as Beijing blocked study tour visas for the two China critics, now... I was just... I was quite surprised. China's Canberra embassy has explained why. Unwarranted attacks, wantonly exerting pressure, challenging China's sovereignty, disrespecting its dignity and undermining trust. I don't accept any of the assertions made in that statement. Including a suggestion the pair genuinely repent. Uh, there won't be any repenting of any kind. We will not repent for standing up for Australian sovereignty, our values, our interests. Just a fortnight ago, Prime Minister Morrison talked up the China relationship on the back of meetings with the country's Premier and Vice President. Today... The Foreign Affairs Minister declined interview requests. This is the New York Times reveals documents apparently leaked from inside China's ruling Communist Party. They confirm a three-year campaign against ethnic minorities, corralling up to one million people in the country's west into prisons and internment camps. The scale of the brutality being organised by the Chinese Communist Party is um, frankly astounding. We would urge China to respond to this report transparently and swiftly. Tim Lester, 7 News. Karen Rostevsky's family is hopeful the sentence for her killer...